Welcome back everyone to what can only be described as another video. And in this video, I thought it would be kind of neat, kind of nifty to go over five Lego sets that I consider to be the most wanted, but least owned by me, of course, naturally. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. Just got my list here so I can remember so there's more than five, but I wanted to whittle it down. Let's go from least most wanted to most most wanted, if you know what I mean. Straight in at number five, we're gonna go with the Whirl and Wheel Super Truck from Model Team. Set number 5590. So fun fact about this set, I was negative four when it released, and I think these Model Team sets have aged really well. They look really nice. The artwork looks awesome. It's got an airport. And the cool thing that I really like about it, weirdly, is the B model looks like an airport fire truck. So it just fits so nicely. I think it just looks awesome. Really cool. Super awesome set. One that if I saw a great deal on it, I'd probably snag it, but it's not number one on the list. So let's go to number four. I think somebody's doing fireworks. Fireworks from gunshots. Hopefully fireworks. Next one, set 75155, the Star Wars U-Wing from Rogue One. If any of you were wondering, probably not, but Rogue One is my favorite Star Wars movie. I think it is awesome, and the U-Wing is my favorite ship from my favorite movie. It is super duper cool, looks awesome. The wings go in front and they slide to the back. It's just a banging looking machine. Should have a UCS version, but this one's really cool. Comes with Cassian Andor and Jin Erso. That's all you need. And again, it's one to keep my eye out, but you know, I'm not hunting it down actively. If I saw the right deal, we'd be talking. But swiftly on to number three. In at number three, we're gonna have 21322 Pirates of Barracuda Bay from Lego Ideas. I don't really get down with Lego 2-in-1 sets, they always seem kind of annoying and wasteful to me, and like not that different to be super cool, but this one, my god, they did it well. It's so crazy. When I first saw this set, it was already retired, so that sucked, but I saw the broken down ship and I was like, wow, that looks so cool, and then I watched a couple of videos on it. And my God, it transforms into a normal ship. I'm using the term transforms loosely, but how cool is that? Like the best two in one I've ever seen. And it's a super cool pirate ship. I mean, it's just a banger, but it's too expensive, man. <laughs> it's like 400 bucks in Canada. Like, yeah, it's really cool. And I love it. And maybe one day, but today is not that day. But let's skip on forward to number two. Uh, number two, I've got kind of a two for one. It is the Canada Post Trucks. Uh, there's set number 105 and 107. 105 is kind of like a Canada Post delivery van and 107 is a delivery truck. Uh, as a proud Canadian, of course, I am going to lean towards these cool old Canadian sets and i had messaged a person about the delivery van missed out about 60 bucks crazy expensive for what it is but compared to the truck let me tell you that thing is pretty much minimum for used no box no nothing 400 dollars. it's absurd so probably never gonna happen but i really like them they're really cool Maybe the van one day. And before we get into number one, let me know, what are, what are some of your most wanted sets? That maybe they are around, maybe they're not around. Anyway, let me know down below. And I'm gonna give a special little bonus. Uh, it's an exclusive minifigure, only released, I think, at a special event in Spain. And it kind of goes along with my love for speed champions. It is the Michelle Mouton minifigure. Oh, come on. Like the most famous female rally driver of 
all time. And Lego made one. They only made 50. But, I mean, you guys have seen, like, these exclusive minifigures. They go for, like, $1,000. And this one is no exception. It is crazy expensive. But it's so cool. And such a cool piece of history captured in a minifigure. She actually took the Audi to the World Rally Championship victory. Only female driver to ever win the World Rally Championship. Super cool. Would be awesome, but probably never going to happen. And finally, at number one. Now let me give you some background. Before LEGO released the 1 8 scale Technic Supercars, they had a couple of 1 10 scale Technic Ferraris. Uh, that were under the racers theme that really got me sucked into the large scale cars. I have one of them. I'm missing the other. In 2005, they released the Enzo Ferrari set number 8653, which I was fortunate enough to grab off eBay as a wee young buck. Good investment by previous me. But there's also set 8145, the Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, and I do not have it, and I do want it, and it is, I mean, it's just, it's just such a cool set. I think it looks amazing. I don't think the 599 was one of the best looking Ferraris by a long shot, but it's just such a cool set. It feels like the start of when Lego started to make these big detailed cars. It's got the old school Technic panels and old school Technic vibes. It's really gappy, but at the same time, I don't know, it's just there's something about it that I find really charming. And if the right price came along, who knows? I might be interested. Cheapest one available in Canada right now is $650, so not gonna happen. <laughs> but um, maybe one day, who knows? If you stuck around to the end, thank you very much for watching. I hope you got some degree of mild entertainment out of this video. And heck, maybe I'll see you in the next one. Who knows? We could all be blown to smithereens in the meantime. Luck of the draw, isn't it? Thanks again for watching and see ya.